Greetings, unsettled souls! <laughs> Time for a little bit of hysteria. I mean, really. What would be the ultimate sign of hysteria? I mean, overreacting to the point where... Well, here, I'll just, I'll, I'll just give it to you. It's Dunce Cap of the Month Award Show, 2 out of 5. We're on our way to the winner. You're endangering America. Man uses giant Halloween skeleton in warning to unvaccinated. Now, I don't personally think this. I want to know, I want all of you to know that I think the vaccine is wonderful. I mean, it is wonderful. And the best thing that you could possibly do is get it. Oh, and you can tell my sincerity is just brimming. And I want to make sure that I say that I sure do endorse them. That way this video won't get banned. This is my endorsement face. Okay, so some people who don't wear the endorsement face, as I certainly did in proof, some people would say that there is a chance that that skeleton is about as real as your threat would be from not getting the procedure. Now, I would never say something like that, of course. I want to make sure that's clear. I, I'm pickled, tickled pink that, you know, it's approved and endorsement face. Rally at WIBW.com. A North Carolina homeowner decorated his front yard with a giant Halloween skeleton and several tombstones to send a warning about the dangers of COVID-19. Jesse Jones set up the elaborate display in front of his yard featuring a giant skeleton with a grim sign that reads, Not Vaccinated. See you soon, idiots. Messages on fake gravestones in the front yard take aim at virus skepticism, such as, it wasn't a hoax. Jones says his front yard warning is a plea for vaccination, and it's personal. My wife lost her mother to COVID, and she has a woman who spent her entire life looking after people. She died completely alone in the hospital room without being able to see a relative in 14 days. It was a nightmare. Nobody should go through what my wife went through watching her mom die like that, she said. Pause. Okay. Some people, not me, of course, I'm not on this video. Some people, though, some people would say, well, what about the people who did take the vaccine? Who the messenger RNA, who they say the, they say the messenger dies, right? Well, the messenger didn't die. Autopsies have shown, as a direct result of the vaccine, that the spike proteins were all over the person's body long after they were supposed to have died. So, since nobody should go through what his wife went through, the question that some people, of course, not me, never me, the question that some people, though, would be prone to ask, and they should be ashamed of themselves, would be, does the people who died when the vaccine didn't work properly, did they deserve to go through that? I mean, I know you're not allowed to ask that, so I never would. Um, the attorney says 14 of his clients died of COVID-19, and a former employee who didn't get vaccinated also lost his life. He's hoping to change some minds with his display and imploring people to take precautions to avoid the heartbreak his family is experiencing. Now, one of the reasons I'm mentioning on the Dunce Cap of the Month Award show is how many of those people died of the vaccine before, died of the virus before there even was a vaccine. So he's saying uh, people went through this horrible nightmare and nobody else should have to do it. Well, then get vaccinated if you want to. That's what this show endorses. Um, he, if you're not vaccinated, you're not a patriot. You're endangering America because this virus doesn't play, Jones said. Okay, so it's patriotic to take a vaccine which some people, not me, of course, never ever would allege, according to scientific data from sound morticians, that heart diseases and blood clots arose and it cost some people their lives. Are they patriotic? I kind of got to put it out there. 
I need to look after you, you need to look after me, and if everybody would just wear a mask, distance, be an American, be a patriot, and follow the rules, this would go over very, very quickly. Hmm. Now, are you allowed to ask why even the strain of the virus to which people are supposed to be vaccinated from, not a breakthrough case with a different strain, but the strain to which they're supposed to be vaccinated from, they still get and end up in the hospital and end up dying from after vaccinated. Now, I've never asked any of the questions which you heard because I think it's wonderful that you get your vaccine. And you know that I sure did, will, or am, or did. Of course I did. Yeah, of course. If you're listening to the correct views, friends, and let me know what you think in the comment line. There's still three, three stories dumber than this to go. Welcome to the correct views. Dumps cap of the month day.